You get it. We should be setting up children for success, to be productive, contributing members of society. That's the fundamental ABCs of literacy. Ah. You got it. Katina Taylor, a longtime educator, has made it her dream to end illiteracy in Kansas City. I noticed that I had middle school students attempting to go to high school reading on first grade, second grade, or third grade reading levels. We know that literacy affects health outcomes, employment, incarceration rates. She founded her nonprofit Dreams Consulting KC, a project based initiative to re engage students in the educational and reading experience. And with that, she created a reading program called Reading the Phonics Way. It really taps into the basics. It was a solution to a problem she saw during the pandemic. They didn't know what to teach or how to teach it. Parents and guardians were at home, forced to become teachers without the tools and skills needed. Mm. Ah. So now the goal is to help more families in the metro. So not only do they get the book, they get flashcards, and then they get check-ins. Learn the sights and sounds to read. Um, reading first starts with the ears. People go, what do you mean? Well, it's what they hear versus what they see. But Taylor says to address illiteracy, we first have to read through what's causing it. There'll be lots of needs that they say need to be addressed in order for them to help increase the literacy. And that could even be housing insufficiency or um, food insufficiency. And that's why the nonprofit Turn the Page KC is partnering with Taylor to fill in the blanks. Christian Drogi, executive director, says their plan is to serve as the backbone for literacy initiatives, bringing other agencies and organizations like Dreams KC together in order to make their work more powerful. Many in the field of literacy and education, but also those in the field of health care, transportation and civic engagement, you know, community safety, all kinds, because everything impacts a child's ability to learn. Both organizations hope this new initiative will start a new wave to end illiteracy, what they call a blended effort to affect change. Grandparents, uncles, aunts, we don't care who it is, that have the time to commit to working with their children in home or in small groups to actually move the needle in literacy. Good job. Yes. So Reading the Phonics Way will work under Turn the Page KC's new program called the RE360 program. And if you're interested in working with this initiative, we will have more information on this story on our website, fox4kc.com.